Hi, I'm Marie. Welcome to Marie's Kitchen. I'm so glad you're back. Today we're making instant pot chili. It's so easy and it comes out so warm and hearty and flavorful. It's not so spicy that kids can't eat it, so it's great for the whole family. And my daughter in particular is kind of sensitive to really spicy food, so I was not sure she'd go for this, but she gobbled it up and asked for seconds. Our family was literally like scraping the bottom of the bowl. So this was a huge hit in our house and I'm really excited to share with you. Let's get started. To start we're going to chop an onion. So I'm going to chop the end off here and then part of this stem you can cut off a little bit here. Then we'll go right down the middle peel off the paper and kind of the first layer there. Now what we're going to do is it's held together by the stem end here. So we're just going to make slices not into the stem end but right kind of almost up to it. We're going to make some slices down the onion like that. And then we'll go one through the middle here and then just go straight down the onion and that gives us these nice chopped pieces. Exactly what we need. I'm using an instant pot for this recipe. If you don't have one, you could do this on the stove or in the slow cooker, but I love the instant pot for this if you do have one. So to start, we're just gonna turn it on to the saute function, which is right here. You'll just press that and that is gonna heat this up from the bottom just like on the stove so you can saute anything, your veggies in there, and that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of olive oil right in here. We'll let that heat up a bit and then we'll add our onions. I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions to the hot olive oil and let those saute. The only thing you want to be careful of when you're using the saute function in the Instant Pot is you want to be careful not to burn whatever's in there. So just keep an eye on it, stir it around, make sure nothing gets stuck to the bottom and you're just getting a nice saute. Okay, that's looking great. You can see they're getting a little bit toasted on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and add our garlic. And to do that, I'm just going to use a garlic press, another one of my favorite gadgets. And I'm just going to pop the garlic in there with the peel on and everything and squeeze that and scrape it off with a butter knife. We'll do two more here. Pop this in and okay. Now we'll give this a stir again to make sure the garlic is not burning and the onions not burning. It is getting nice and hot in there. Next, we'll add about three tablespoons of tomato paste. I'm using a tube here, which is great for adding uh, tomato paste without having to open an entire jar. So there's one, two, three. Great. Now we'll just pop the lid on and put that back in the fridge for later. Give that another stir. It smells so good. Okay, next we'll add, I have some bison here. So we're gonna add one pound of ground bison. You can use turkey, you can use ground beef, whatever works. I made it with turkey the other day and we loved it. Now we're using bison because I had some in the freezer and of course we always have some good grass-fed beef on hand. Again, we're gonna keep stirring this. We're gonna just chop up the beef into small pieces and give it a stir so nothing burns. And if it does anything get stuck to the bottom, you just want to scrape that up. Let the bison brown with the tomato paste, the onion, and the garlic. The puppy's in here whining. Well, that's kicking. I'm going to let her out. We're still house training the puppy, so got to let her out when she calls. Right. And while this is browning, I am going to mix together the liquid ingredients. We've got one cup of beef broth. And if you like it a little soupier, you can certainly add more. 
Now we'll add our spices. I'm gonna use, we'll start with chili powder. You wanna use about one half tablespoon to one tablespoon. If you like it really, you know, kind of spicy and flavorful, you can certainly add another, an extra tablespoon if you like it. Next is one quarter teaspoon cumin. And if you love cumin, you can certainly add more. I kind of like a little less. I feel like it's a really strong flavor and it can overpower. So I just do a quarter teaspoon cumin. Next is one half teaspoon dried oregano. Then one half tablespoon brown sugar. And don't worry, this doesn't come out sweet. It just really enhances the flavor of everything. So I like a little brown sugar in the chili. This is looking great. The beef is browning. Now we're almost ready to add our liquids. Next we're gonna add one half tablespoon white balsamic vinegar. And if you don't have this vinegar, you could use apple cider or another salad vinegar. So one half tablespoon of vinegar and then one half tablespoon Worcestershire sauce. Finally, I'll add a little salt, a little pepper, and I am using full sodium beef broth and beans and tomatoes, so I'm not gonna add a lot of salt, but if you're using low sodium of any of those, then you can you know, add more salt at the end. Okay, we'll give this a kind of a whisk, and this looks ready. So we're just gonna pour our liquids right in there with the beef, onions, and garlic. There we go. Oh, it's smelling so good over here. Now we'll add our pinto beans. And I'm just using a can. If you happen to have homemade, of course that's great. But we're gonna use canned pinto beans. And the only thing you wanna remember with these is you wanna drain them and rinse them. So the beans are drained and rinsed. I'm just gonna pour these in to the Instant Pot. Next, we'll add our diced fire roasted tomatoes. It's one can. Pour that right in. Give that a stir. And this is done. Mmm, it smells so good. Now we're gonna pop the lid on, lock that into place, turn it off at the saute function, and we'll turn it to manual. 10 minutes, you can adjust the time here and you can see it's on high pressure. So we're gonna have that for 10 minutes and it's turn the knob from venting to sealing and that will hold in the pressure. It'll take about five or 10 minutes for the pressure to build up and then it's gonna cook for 10 minutes. So total this will take maybe 15 to 20 minutes and then this is done and ready to serve. So while this is cooking, I'm gonna clean up and get some bowls out and some fixins like Fritos and cheese and sour cream to put on top and we are gonna be ready to eat. Today is such a perfect day for chili. It's cold and kind of a little drizzly outside. We've got a fire going, the puppies sleeping by the fire, and football's on. It's just so cozy inside and nothing sounds better than a warm bowl of chili. Okay, so this is done. We're just going to have to release the steam now, which is kind of um, violent, but <laughs> just be careful, it's really hot. So we're just gonna move the knob from sealing to venting, and it's gonna shoot out the top. If you've never used an Instant Pot, if you have, then you know what's about to happen, but just wanna warn you, we're gonna move it to venting. So I've unplugged it and it's done releasing the pressure. So then we're just gonna open that up. You wanna be careful because the steam is really hot and this is all very hot. So only use the handle and then always try to open it away from me so the steam doesn't get on everything. Oh my gosh, looks so good. It's just nicely cooked and warm. Although you don't have to use the Instant Pot for this, I love that you do in 10 minutes and it's like you've been slow cooking it all day. It's got this really, really nice and thick and flavorful. So this looks great. I'm gonna serve some of this up. Oh my gosh, look at that. So delicious. On a cold day, nothing better. Then we'll add some toppings, some grated cheese, some chives if you have those. And avocado or cilantro is delicious and that is ready to serve.
I'm going to have a bite here. I know it's going to be hot. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. So delicious. Thanks so much for joining us on Marie's Kitchen. Today we made this easy instant pot chili. It is so delicious, so warm and hearty. Really hope you get to try this one. If you do, let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Also hit that subscribe button and that bell button for notifications because we've got lots more videos coming up with easy recipes just like this. From my kitchen to yours, thank you. Thanks so much for joining us on Marie's <laughs> She's biting me. She's biting my foot. Thanks so much for joining us on... Oh, you need a napkin. Oh, sorry. Oh, ow, ow. <laughs> Got lots of easy... Hello, Coco Puff. Where's your chew toy? Stop that. Here's your chew. Here, look. Okay, quick. I am gonna have to wash my hands after this. You're right. Just give him a little teddy bear a hug. She's a good girl. <laughs>